Hi, Virgo Summon Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for Monday, December 4th, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. If you'd like to make a donation to my website, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do so just to show gratitude and appreciation. Thank you, Virgos. And the reading special is still going up until December 14th or December 15th, one or the other. Um, it's 20 minutes plus a five minute bonus for anyone who's interested. You can find that on my website and today's the last day of the sale. Yeah. If you guys want the twin flame tarot card, there's only four in stock. So if everyone's interested, if anyone is interested, you're welcome to go ahead and take a look at that too. And I also have the lip gloss on my website as well. Virgos, it's really good. It's like a lip oil. It's really great for women. You know, if you want that cute, glossy lip oil look. It's very, very nice. You can put your lipstick on and then you can put a lip gloss on top. It's very, it's very, very nice. It's very nice. Um, if you guys are interested, you can get that too on my website. All right, let's get it. Virgo's coming in with the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Wands <clears throat> in reverse. Somebody here sees you as everything, like you are everything in the world. The way that you carry yourself, the way that you dress, the way that you do your hair, everything about you is just absolutely incredible and absolutely amazing as well with the Nine of Cups. You are the truth. You are the truth. You give clarity in everything like this. You could have been dealing with somebody, maybe Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who felt like you are the prize. Maybe this person also likes a lot of attention or they like to be, or they're very prideful or they like to have that people like make them feel good in a way, right? But I think in the end, it's like you guys are coming into a connection where between you and this person where you're deciding to see the truth for exactly what it is. With that Ace of Sword energy, you're seeing everything for what it is. Like nothing is being hidden from you because you guys are very genuinely loved. You're loved by spirit. You're loved by angels. And when things are placed right in front of your eyes, when things are placed right in front of you, that's like God showing you that, hey, I'm not going to let nobody do you one. I'm not going to let, I'm going to let you see everything for what it is. Ace of Swords, hangman. It is what it is, Virgos, like straight up. And I think in turn, it's like you guys too. There could be other people involved in this situation between everybody. But I think at the end, you're deciding to call it a day, hang it up. You're going to go be around people who are going to respect you, love you, be kind to you and appreciate you. And you're leaving behind those who have feel like it's okay to disrespect you. Uh, somebody here is very much so confused and I think in the end they're going to have a lot of, there's like a karmic contract. It's the hierophant to the will of fortune. That's a karmic contract that somebody's having to go through and they might not really understand what's going on. Maybe if they're a little bit confused or the things that they are choosing to pick up on are just very fantasy, imaginative, delusional, <laughs> The fuck right. I'm telling you the truth. This is seven of cups. Like these karmic, the, the, the karmic contract, the karmic vows, the karmic cycle that this person keeps going through are the exact same ones are being repeated over and over and over and over and over again. It's like because of the hallucinations, the delusional energy, the fucking drinking, the whatever else you got going on, you know, it's like you're not learning those lessons. You're not learning the lessons of you making the same decisions over and over and over again and thinking that you're going to get a different result and not, nah, bro, you're not getting no different results. It's the same shit over and over. So it's like, so maybe this person is going to have to go to get some sort of spiritual advice. Maybe they're going to go have to speak to a mentor. Maybe they're going to have to go speak to somebody who might know a little bit more so that way they can kind of understand it. So that way this hierophant can kind of like, doop, doop, you know, and straight up just like kind of slap them a little bit so they can be aligned in their energy. So they understand like, maybe this person could be like, why do I keep making the same decision? Why can't I let go of certain things? Yo, if you want to be helped, you're going to help yourself. Then nobody out here is going to put their hand out to somebody. And if you don't want to reach up, no one's going to, people will walk away from you. If someone's putting out their hand to say, okay, bro, I'm going to come and I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you get your life straight. And you don't put your hand out to reach up for that hand. Remember what I always tell you guys, successful people are going to lift you up. They're going to lift you up. Weak people are not going to lift you up. They're going to bring you down. They're going to make you feel like you ain't shit. They're going to drop you down. They're going to, they're going to bring that. It's like that narcissistic fucking bullshit. When, when people see you do good and they start not, they don't compliment you. They don't make you feel good or nothing like that. That's because they're, they feel low within themselves. So they got to drag everybody else down because they think that it's, that's that psychological fucking mind game. The psychological mind game would be that. Okay. Well, and, and ha, ha, let's, let's just do this one for example. All right. You got a, you got 
there's a, there's a bunch of people, a lot, but there's only one beautiful girl. Out of all those 10 people, there's one beautiful girl. So the guy wants to not compliment her, and he says something really bad and disgusting towards her to make her feel bad. Then what does that do? It makes that girl want to go run after him. Why? Because she, he made her feel so bad that she wants to be approved by him, by his opinion. Understand me? It's all fucking psychological mind games, and if you're not ahead of the fucking game, you're going to get fucking dragged out here. Don't let nobody place you in these positions. People got to be careful with you. I think people are got to be careful with you because you're the, you're the fucking chess board. You're the chess game. Life is a game of chess. And if you don't play your hand carefully, you're not, you're going to lose. So if you don't know how to play with, if, you, if people are going to play with your mind like this and you don't know how to play back, you're going to get dragged. So I suggest that you walk away immediately so you don't place yourself in a position of getting dragged out. If you don't know that, then, get, then keep it moving, Virgos. Like don't, don't allow people to play with your mind. It's their problem, not yours. You don't, you don't indulge in that stuff. And it can also lead to dangerousness too. <laughs> so, so, you know, it could be dangerous if you don't know how to play your cards right. And somebody showed you their cards. Somebody showed you their hand right off the bat thinking that that shit's okay. But you're in your mind, you're like, all right, I see everything for what it is. Nine of Cups, I say, I see, I see you for exactly who you are. I see everything for what it is. But that's not going to stop you because you can technically have anything in the world that you want. You guys are calling judgment on the situation, 100 Virgos. It's not a decision for you to make, two of wands in reverse. No, it's not. No, it's not. Why isn't it a decision that you have to make when it comes to somebody in this energy? Because you've been through this before. You're not going to repeat the same cycles again. You are smarter than this. You took the lessons of what people have caused and caused you pain with, and you kept it moving and you learned from it. Now you're above the game. So you are the game. Meaning that if anybody decides to try you, hurt you, harm you, upset you, break your heart, deceive you, decept you, whatever, you have the ability to call judgment on them and move on. What happens to them is nobody's business but their own because they're not allowed to hurt people. You're not allowed to harm people. You're not allowed to disrespect people. You're not allowed to put down people. You're not allowed to fucking hurt nobody. You're not allowed to hurt people out here. You want to hurt people? Then expect the universe to swing that shit right back to you. Don't expect, and the energy of karma is very real. And if you're not careful, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Six of Cups, Three of Swords, somebody's still hurt and heartbroken over the things that may have happened in the past regarding a relationship, maybe an Aries, whatever it could potentially be. But I think you guys are coming up as the Empress right now or the Emperor. Like, you guys know yourselves. You're like our calling, like, yo, you're, you're blowing the horn. Spirit has given you the ability to say, you know what, time to be a fool. Let's blow that horn because it's not really in your energy to call judgment on anybody, you know. But when you see unjust shit, when you see things that are not good, whatever a case is, you know, you don't really, you don't, you don't call judgment on anybody unless you feel like they are really abusing their power. And so... Spirits are the ones that are coming in as the full energy right now. They're like, yo, look at what this person's doing to you. Look what they're doing to you. And you're like, ah, I see what they're doing. Let me call judgment real quickly. What happened was you decide to say, all right, I see the snake shit. I see the bullshit. I see the manipulative shit. I see the jealous shit. And it was all exposed, sun card. You saw it right in front of you, right? You were holding it. It was like so close to you. That's how close it was. I mean, something's going to be revealed to you right in front of your face. And that's because... I think spirits and the angels love you guys so much, honestly. Seven of swords, five of swords. Somebody thought that they can get one on you. Somebody thought they can run game on you, play you. Somebody thought they can manipulate you, take advantage of you. Somebody thought that they can try and do you one. That they, that they can they, that they can run up they, they, that they can run up on an empress or they can run up on an emperor. Then nothing is nothing. No, you cannot. No, the fuck you cannot. Four of wands. This was a connection that was brought from the divine itself. And this is how this person played you? All right, bet. Judgment's here. Let's see what's going to happen now. I feel like this person's going to reach out to you, but there's nobody going to be there because it's a tower card. You guys block this person. Uh, and it's just simply saying that the karma that this person's going to be getting. So this way that this person saw you, the views you, they view you as somebody who's very kind, very patient, very earthly, like an earth angel. This is how they viewed you. And I think realistically speaking that this King of Wands, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Cancer, a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Pisces, 
um, a Taurus, they're all simply going to be having a lot of problems in their life. This person is not in the position of the King of Wands in reverse. And they might be pretty angry or even upset in some sort of way, shape, and form. And they know that they're not going to be able to move forward coming towards you anymore because they've been defeated. You got defeated. The player got played. And he played himself or she played herself. And it is what it is. And you're gone. You're out of the picture. You're out. There's nothing left here. And this person's just going to have a lot of drama and a lot of problems when it comes to love relationships, especially with a Gemini or even an Aquarius or a Pisces. Uh, there is going to be a lot of drama with the Five of Wands, Lover's Card, and the Star Card. Yeah, you need to be careful with how you treat people, dog. <laughs> because when you treat people badly, don't expect something good to come for you. Five of Pentacles, not good energy either. Hang, full, uh, Moon Card. I am seeing that there could potentially be something wrong. If you guys are doing something outside and you guys are not using any kind of protection at all, uh, there could potentially be something wrong with the moon card five and the five and the lover's card. You get it something unprotected and you may not even know that you have it yet because it's still hidden moon card and you should be very, very careful with it. Five of pentacles. I suggest that you go get tested. If that's the type of man that you are, or that's the type of woman that you are, that you go and you smash and you're not doing and you're not using protection. Yo, it's right there for you. It's hidden. That means you don't know that you have it. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, so somebody here was deceptive with their feelings when it comes to the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Very loving person, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, but you guys seem like you are very well aware of the energy. You know what is charming. I think a lot of you guys stay away from charming men and charming women. People who are charming right off the bat, there's something always up their sleeve. Just remember that, Virgos. Remember that. <laughs> Seven of Wands, you're definitely protected. World card, you're protected. And if you were if you were if you were in a position where it looked like it was dangerous or something, yeah, you're protected. The most high loves you, God loves you, angels love you, and they're not gonna let nothing happen to you, especially from those who wanna de be deceptive towards you or play you or run game on you or even be emotionally manipulative towards you. Remember, don't allow people who are emotionally manipulative to run game on you. It's not a decision that you guys want to invest in with the Seven of Pentacles. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Four of Pentacles. This person's going to get blocked. They're going to get blocked in some sort of way, shape, and form. They should have protected you. They should have protected the connection, but they did not. Mm-mm. It wasn't a thought in their mind, Seven of Pentacles, because they wasn't even planning on investing anyway, right? So when they're not planning on investing, what do they have to protect? But their spirit is saying... Even if you weren't planning on investing, you should have still protected the energy for Pentacles, but you didn't. So now you're fucked. And the people that this person hangs out with, with the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Cups, you guys are walking away from it. You don't want nothing to do with it anymore. It's not your energy anyway. So with the Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, it's saying that the people only hang out with this person maybe because this person got money, right? They're saying that you don't need nothing from nobody. You're a warrior, you know, people recognize your energy. People see that warrior self about you. They see that you're strong, you're powerful. You've been through a lot in your life, but maybe you don't show it. But in the end, it's the fact that people recognize it and they could potentially be a little bit intimidated by it too. So they're going to be nice to your face and be kind to you, but maybe behind your back, they're not going to be all that great. There's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here too who may want to help you out with the Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. They're saying, no, nah, don't worry about it. Get rid of it, Ten of Wands. It's not something that you guys want to get involved in. It could potentially leave you guys in a position with no money at all. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Put an end to it. Uh, put an end to it. Saying you don't trust this person anyway, and you fear of going through a lot of struggles because you already got so much going on anyway. So they're just simply saying, Virgo's in this energy here. If, whoever you guys speak to with the King of Swords, they say that this is not the right time and it's not something that you need to get involved in. So don't get involved in it. And it's better for you not to get involved in it anyway because you're already independent and doing well for yourself. So involving other people wouldn't make sense for you. Put an end to it now. Now. And if there's going to be this person here, the King of Wands, they're going to they're gonna try and come back and talk to you again. And they're going to try and be upfront with you and speak to you. Maybe you want to gift gift you, give you something, give you money, give you whatever. But I think at this point, Ten of Wands, no. Nope. <laughs> and nothing, you're not taking nothing from nobody. They're saying you don't, you're not, you're not taking nothing from nobody. You don't take nothing from nobody. Just because somebody gives it to you doesn't mean you have to take it, even if it's for free. 
Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. You don't trust the energy. You know, the there's no trust here. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. No, there's no trust in the energy. You know, mm -mm. put an end to it all. Uh, you're seeing everything for exactly what it is and you're moving on with your life. You have other opportunities that are going to be coming towards you guys and your money's going to start picking up a lot more faster, but it's going to take some time. But I expect when that energy comes through, you guys are going to be okay. There's going to be opportunity and proposals coming towards you guys. Maybe you guys, maybe even in love. I do feel like this person's very toxic, very low vibrational. Maybe even does drugs, like heavy, heavy on the drug energy, like maybe lines and shit. But with the magician to the devil card is just simply saying that this person is probably going to be spying and watching you for a good little while. I think you guys are going to be realistically defensive when this person tries to reach back out to you guys again. And they're going to be in their head a lot by how they treated you. They're going to be thinking a lot about how they treated you. And they feel like they know that when they betrayed you or hurt you, that they ended up betraying themselves. So nobody loses except them because you're moving on with your life and you don't really care. You don't have a problem with tower energies. Your one person is like, you're, you, don't, you don't care. You're too, you're, I mean, you're an empress or an emperor. Like, you don't care at the end of the day. Those who are going to be around you will be around you. Ten of cups. Those who are not good for you, they're all going to feel it. They're all going to feel it because when somebody here, you want to hurt an earth angel, you want to hurt a light worker, you want to hurt people who have nothing but good intentions for you, who are good, genuine people. It's like taking a bunny and then destroying them. What are you destroying a bunny for? The bunny eats fucking carrots and, and whatever. You don't do that to people. You don't do that. You don't harm people. You don't, you don't do that. You don't hurt people. You don't harm people. You don't, you, whatever it is that you do with your life, you do with your life. But what you don't do is you do not harm people. You don't do harm. You don't do harm. You don't harm people through betrayal. You don't disrespect people. You don't backbite on people. You don't talk about people. You don't, nothing. You don't do it. You don't do it. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the tower card, the three of pentacles and the knight of swords. Somebody here wants to come in quickly to see if they can try and work on the relationship to balance the relationship out. And I think in the end, when this person comes to the realization that maybe you blocked them, you got rid of them, you said, F that, you're going to keep focus. Thing is, you're incredibly protected with the Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Somebody here wants to kind of like take that away from you. But I think in the end, it's like, that's not, it cannot happen. Uh, this person wants to come in quickly, speak to you. They're hoping that they're going to be able to get a chance or an opportunity to talk to you again um, to make things right with the Justice card. But I think in the end, it's like, you're not worried about it at this point. You're way too strong. You're way too powerful. You know exactly what's going on and why you made the decision that you made in the end. Strength card, you're too strong. Your protection, your, you know, spirit, angels, all of them, they're not going to let nothing happen to you. They're not going to let nobody play you, run game on you, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. If people knew what you carry, they would have latched the fuck on. They would have latched the fuck on, but they don't know what you carry. People just walking obliviously in this fucking life thinking that they can do people one and they think that they're not going to get no fucking judgment in return. Now they're going to get fucking judgment. Judgment is going to be placed on every single person who wants to disrespect you or do you one. The fuck you mean? Eight of Pentacles, you've been. You've been working on yourself. You've worked really fucking hard on yourself. The fuck? You've been alone. You worked really hard on yourself. You guys went through a lot of pain, sadness, and depression in your life too. And you come off of someone who's incredibly mysterious. And a lot of people, they like to look at you or watch you behind the scene. They like to look at you from a distance. People see you. They see your energy. They see what you are. They don't know what you are, but they see there's something about you that they don't know because you're mysterious. This person's going to have a lot of problems in their life, a lot of headaches as well. All because of the fact that they treated you like you were an option. And that was a missed opportunity on their side. They missed the biggest opportunity of their life. That was the biggest blessing that they could have potentially picked up on. And they said that they don't want it. Four of Cups, they lose. They fucking lose. This was the biggest blessing they could have got. And you said, the divination said to you, bro, we're going to send you a fucking cup. We're going to send you the cup. This cup is going to be filled with love. It's going to be filled with abundance. It's going to be filled with healing energy. It's going to be filled with tranquility, peace, harmony. And you said you don't fucking want it. You deserve nothing. Nothing at all. Four of cups. Go go on with your life, Virgos. Thanks, cuties. Bye.